So samadhi is equanimity of your intellect or your buddhi. These different dimensions of samadhi, different experiences of samadhi, is it possible through these practices? Well, you did your shambhavi, you must understand, though we are talking everything logically, not because I like logic, I think it's just stupid. <laughs> that was not a mistake, it's a blunder because you cannot correct it. But it's a wonderful blunder because I saw the futility of logic long, long time ago, very early in my life. Uh, it solved everything for me because intellect gives you a feeling that somewhere you are superior to everything around you because dissection, 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 what is good, what is bad, what is superior, what is inferior, what is high, what is low, it just does this, 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 this and one day it tells you, you are the most superior person in the universe. That day you must know, you are part of the mental pandemic. You're already there <laughs> So samadhi means, you are out of the pandemic, you are equanimous. Once there is equanimity, every cell in your body will respond, every cell in the body will respond and generate sweetness. Today they're showing you scientific evidence that there are cannabis report, uh, you know, receptors and, uh, you know, our uh, professors from Indiana University, Harvard, Rutgers and Florida University have done an elaborate research. I hope all of you know this, that uh, by doing inner engineering practices, your BDNF is three hundred percent more. Your anandamide production is significantly higher. That means you are experiencing samadhi a little bit. You do your shambhavi and sit there for those few moments. Nothing, but nice. This is samadhi. Well, your only problem is you may not be able to stay there. That is because you're still smart. I mean, smart means stupid. When you think I'm smart, that means you're stupid. Somebody thinks you're smart, that is okay, it's their opinion. But if you take their opinion seriously, that means you're stupid. So, this process of what we refer to as samadhi, it can flower like that in one day or it can gradually grow for a period of time. One day is flowering, little forceful flowering we do, you know. The Bhavaspandana program which is banned right now. Uh, we make nearly ninety percent of the people who are in the program experience some state of samadhi, powerful. This is why that's one program they remember. Ninety percent of the rem people remember this program always as life transforming. And another ten percent remember for all the back pains and leg pains and whatever else they got. One way or the other it is remembered. So, uh, in Bhava Spindana, there is a forced samadhi. I'm saying forced because the atmosphere is kept like a pressure cooker. Every kind of grain gets cooked, but some will spill, a few. Usually I would say maybe two, three percent will spill out. Rest. Uh, at least they're able to take their pains equanimously, which is samadhi. The pain is always a test, know this. If you can handle pain in an equanimous manner, oh, you're in a good place actually. So, samadhi 
can I experience deeper states of samadhi? Well, uh, you have taken the first step, the second step, third step is your choice, but if you want to push, we can push you.